Hello everyone and welcome to UCEA's first ever convention center. My name is Monica Burton Jimenez and I am the executive director of UCEA and for the next few days I will be the anchor for our UCEA convention center. We're going to talk to invited guests, reflect on goings on at convention and hopefully have some fun. Today, I'm coming from East Lansing, Michigan, the ancestral and contemporary lands of the Anishabeg Three Fires Confederacy of the Ojibwa, Odawa, and Potawatomi peoples. I affirm indigenous sovereignty, history, and experiences of those indig indigenous individuals and communities who live here now and those who were forcibly removed from their homelands. In offering this land acknowledgement, I affirm indigenous sovereignty, history, and experiences. I know that we are all well into the semester in an incredibly difficult and exhausting time. I am sure that in your communities, some may have lost a loved one to COVID-19. And maybe even among those watching here today, some may be experiencing that loss acutely. I wanna take a moment to honor those we may have lost and those living with that loss. Thank you for sharing that with me. So what is Convention Center? During the course of our synchronous convention, there are 15 breaks in between session. In our traditional convention, we would use that time to talk with presenters, meet friends in the hallways, or grab a cup of coffee. Our virtual convention can't take the place of that kind of spontaneous moments of connection and interaction. Instead, we offer an opportunity to learn more about what's happening all around UCEA and the convention, meet members of our staff, and recognize important members of our community, like this year's award recipients and Jackson Scholars. So while you grab your cup of coffee or take a break from the screen, we will be, reaching, we will be here reaching out from our home to yours. Convention Center is possible with the generous support of our Dean Robert Floden and the MSU College of Education. We are also grateful to the Wallace Foundation for their continued partnership and support. In this first segment of Convention Center, we will be hearing from Dean Floden and Carl Gildner, UCEA's events manager and all around Convention King. Dean Floden, thanks for taking time to be with us today. Hello, I'm Bob Floden, Dean of the College of Education at Michigan State University. I welcome you on behalf of our college, which became in July, the new home of the University Council for Educational Administration. I strongly supported the bid to host UCEA, as did our provost. UCEA is a great fit with the university's land grant AAU mission drawing on scholarship to improve lives. It's also a perfect fit with our college's mission to prepare professionals for leadership roles in education, moving beyond analysis to promote educational policy reform and implementation. We take pride in a long history of work with strong connections among research, policy, and practice across our missions of teaching, research, and service. I see our work with UCEA as an opportunity to advance scholarly work, both about educational leadership and about how to prepare educational leaders. One of the things we say to prospective students is, come prepared to learn, leave prepared to lead. I think that would apply to our work with UCEA as well, as we work together to learn and use what we have learned to lead work on the initial and continuing education of education leaders. So again, I welcome UCEA to Michigan State University and I welcome all of you to this conference.
Thank you, Dean Floden, not only for your message, but for helping to make MSU our new home. Let me introduce everyone to Carl Gildner. Carl has been with UCA for four years now and has helped to lead our efforts to improve convention every single one of those years. You may recognize his name also from the bevy of emails that we've been sending out over the past few months. Carl, can you walk us through some of the new and exciting features that we want people to know about during this virtual convention? Thank you, Monica. I'd be happy to. Before I walk everyone through um, the UCEA convention platform, I'd like to take a couple seconds here to thank some people that have made this whole convention possible and have really helped me uh, put this whole thing together. The first uh, group of people is our wonderful planning committee. I've had the pleasure to work with four planning committees um, during my time here at UCEA. And this year's planning committee, uh, we have really got to uh, bond and get to know each other really well because we've really had to reinvent the wheel. Um, for normal um, in-person conventions, it's been pretty simple as far as knowing what to do year in and year out because that's what we're used to doing. This year we had to really change things up and get creative. So I'd like to thank the planning committee. You'll hear from them in a little bit. Next, I'd like to thank the headquarters staff, starting with Monica, <laughs> as she's fearlessly led us through these uncharted waters. Um, and we hope you enjoy the outcome that um, you'll see in the next few days. Also, uh, Davis Clement, our postdoc researcher. Um, he's been wonderful behind the scenes, putting together a lot of materials and helping us schedule all of our sessions. Also, our graduate assistants. Also, you will hear from them throughout the convention as well. And they've been instrumental in getting many things done, such as the Graduate Student Summit, the Jackson Scholars Network Research Symposium, and many other behind the scenes items that have been able to get your sessions onto our convention platform. I'd also like to thank our Graduate Student Council. They have done a tremendous job with our transition from the University of Virginia to Michigan State University in picking up a lot of pieces that may have normally fallen off during a, a difficult transition in a difficult year. And they've done a wonderful job, so I want to thank all of the members of the Graduate Student Council. I'd also like to thank uh, the wonderful production team that has put together our convention platform. They have been behind the scenes and have been working to get your asynchronous videos recorded, to get everything loaded up online, have done an amazing job of putting together everything. And you'll see the uh, fabulous work that they do uh, during our convention center. So I'd like to thank everyone at ASAV for their months and months of hard work putting this together. And also, uh, finally, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors. Our sponsors uh, really help make convention happen. So you will see our sponsors scrolling throughout the platform uh, during the convention, and you will see them in many other places, including the convention program and uh, our website and registration site and many other places. With that, I'd like to take you to our convention platform. So the first screen you come onto, hopefully you've gotten past this screen by now if you're watching this. <laughs> if not, um, or if you run into any difficulties in the next uh, couple days, feel free to email us at uceaconvention at gmail.com um, for any tech-related issues or any other uh, convention-related questions. The first thing you'll see is uh, the UCEA convention platform homepage. Across the top, you'll see we have the asynchronous sessions, synchronous sessions, and our uh, virtual booths in the exhibit hall. So feel free to click on any one of those. For right now, for the um, time being, you want to spend most of your time in the synchronous sessions. That being said, we have asynchronous sessions available. 
So on your asynchronous sessions, you'll see where the hand is. Click there. We have the individual presentations, which are the research slash inquiry presentations, most commonly known as paper presentations. Then we also have our group uh, presentations, which this year we call them the critical conversations. Rats, I got that one wrong. <laughs> They're normally called critical conversations. They're crit conversations on critical issues. All right, can I pick up from there? All right. Next, we have our group sessions, which are called Conversations on Critical Issues. So to access these, click on one of the tabs, and then you can view each individual uh, recordings that are available. Now, as you're watching the session, um, and many of you have submitted your videos, and then we put together group discussions, um, but if you haven't, if you weren't a part of the initial discussion, you can still join in and add your uh, comments or questions to the presenters and keep that discussion going throughout the convention and even post-convention. This is a quick sample of what, the pre of what presentations will look like. Again, this is more for a group type session here. Next, we get to the synchronous session, what everyone's been waiting for. So here, across the top, we have the day of the week. So starting on Tuesday, you'll see we have a list of the sessions that are available, what time it starts, and which room you're in. So I do is click on the orange watch um, buttons, and that's where you will go to the session that you want to. Feel free to go in and out of sessions as you please. Sample of sessions. Over here, you'll be able to download any handouts, the paper presentations, um, or any other presentation materials. Next, in between sessions, whether you're watching a convention center or um, in between sessions, or even um, after the convention center, the convention day is over, feel free to check out our expo hall and visit one of our virtual booths. In the virtual booth, you click on a logo and to visit the booth. And inside, you'll see um, information from exhibitors, sponsors, um, some of our SIGs or business meetings. And in there, you'll be able to get the information, whether there's websites, videos, PowerPoint presentations, um, uh, the ability to contact the organization or group. Um, and then, of course, you can always go back to the Expo Hall and check out some more vendors. Again, any questions, send them to uceaconvention at gmail.com. Thank you, and enjoy your convention experience at UCEA 20. Thank you, Carl, and thank everyone who's made this possible. I think Carl had a long list of people um, who's, without whose work this vision wouldn't have come to life. Um, I also want to add my own thanks um, to Carl's as before we get started with convention. Um, one obviously is our reviewers. You know, reviewers do the hard work of reading all the proposals and making sure that we get the, the best um, papers presented. Um, our participants who, in addition to the convention planning committee having to pivot to a virtual platform, our participants also had to pivot to a virtual platform, and we asked them to do things that we've never asked them to do before. So I wanna give a special shout out to all of our participants, both in the asynchronous and the synchronous. Um, also, our digital discussants, again, this year, we've asked them to do something they've never had to do before, particularly the asynchronous digital discussants. They had to go and watch all the videos and get the group together for a discussion. You've done phenomenal work, and we couldn't do this without you. I'd like to thank you, the attendees, for kind of you know, jumping into this with us. Um, hopefully you'll have a really wonderful, enjoyable experience, um, and you won't miss too much our, our, our usual face-to-face -face convention. Um, and lastly, obviously, I wanna thank Carl. Um, Carl has an idea, or any of us have an idea, the convention planning committee has an idea, and Carl makes it happen. Um, so thanks to his, his sort of 
you know, stalwart support and vision throughout this process to making this experience possible for you all. I think, you know, when we began talking about pivoting to a virtual convention, one of the things I kept saying was that, you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And whatever it is, it's going to be uniquely UCEA. And I think that's exactly what Carl has done, what the convention planning committee has done, and everyone behind the scenes has done to create something that is uniquely us. So enjoy the rest of your time today. Um, we'll be hearing from some other few folks um, during the Resor Convention Center today in the next couple of days. And I look forward to hearing about your experiences. Thank you so much. This year, instead of our networking lounge that we would normally have in our face-to-face -face convention, we have a space for virtual networking. If you go to our convention app called My Glue from Glue Up app in either the App Store or Google Play, you'll be able to download the app and find your way through into the event community connections. Once you're there, you'll be able to see who, what other participants are around, reach out to them, create conversations and threads, and use that app as you would the networking lounge in our face-to-face -face conventions. Now you will hear from our convention planning committee. I am really proud to have worked with our president-elect, Bill Black, who is also the chair of the convention planning committee. Bill, thanks for all your hard work in bringing your committee together and providing the opportunity to work with you in this virtual convention. Take it away.